Hi, beauties and curls. It's Melissa Q. Welcome back. We are doing like some decluttering and some crazy like getting rid of stuff. So this is products I regret buying. Yes, I'm going to talk about it. This is beauty edition. I do have some natural hair products that I regret buying, but we're going to talk about some beauty right now. Okay, so let's just jump right in it because I have a lot. I put it in this YSL black opium like perfume set. Look, y'all. <laughs> yeah, we got something to go through. So let's just jump right in. Okay, the first item is from Physicians Formula. This is the Argon Coconut Water. This is a Argon Wear Primer. Y'all, this spout like shot me in the eye and I went immediately blind. Like, I didn't get why I use this. Now, this is a great, I feel like I could use this as a serum, but definitely as spraying it on your face, you're gonna go blind because the nozzle is like, now you wanna act right. It's kind of droplets, but it, and it's salty. I was like, what is this? Like, what am I supposed to do with this? Now, I could probably put this in as a moisturizer or this would actually be great on my body in the summer, spring and summer. But this is not a primer for your face. I did not know. Physicians formula, bronzers, yes. I need you to come out with some more colors for deep skin tones though. Physicians formula, I'm just saying. Okay, Essence. This is the Irresistible Caramel Cream. This looks so beautiful when you swatch it. But when you put it on your face, you see nothing. It disappears into nothingness. Into like the nothingness of the universe. I was so disappointed in this product. I wanted to love it so well because I love a lot of Essence products, like their lip products, their lip glosses. Oh my goodness, their lip liners are insanely crazy pigmented and only $1.99. And this did not work. So this is the Ladara Advanced Anti Aging Serum with LBB five complex this is a serum it broke my face out number one number two it has so many different ingredients in here that i cannot read or understand and that kind of scares me yeah a lot of times i know what products are i am i'm a chemistry minor in college so a lot of times i can kind of piece together what a product is and if i don't i can look it up but this very much confused me and even worse it broke me out so I will not be putting this back on my face and it is a no bueno. Y'all saw this in an Ipsy unboxing. This is a stem cell cleansing cream by Rodeal. The first time I used this, it broke me out. I was, it broke me out so badly that I did not want to try it a second time. So it's a two in one cleanser. It's a no bueno for me. Okay, so this wet and wild, this is the studio eyeshadow palette. And I don't even know what the name of this. Oh, Coming in Latte. I love the names. When Wild, you get an A plus for the name. But unfortunately, this is a pass on the product. A lot of these were hit and miss in terms of chalkiness. The black, it's a good black. But it's powdery. Like when you swatch some of, the, ooh, when you swatch some of these, they are very beautiful. Other ones are like very, very questionable. Okay, these no, mm -mm. a pass on this Wet and Wild. Um, stick with the color icons, you guys. Those are amazing. The cup, the Comfort Palette, really good. That's a pass. Let's talk about some nail polishes. Butter London. Let's talk. First of all, let me shake it up because it kind of settled. This peeled on me as soon as I put it on. Now, Butter London polishes are amazing, but they are hit and miss. You don't know which ones are good, which ones aren't. I have a Butter London one right over there that is amazing. But this one, immediately, as soon as I put it on, it peeled on me. And this is in the shade Teddy Girl. This is so good though. It's such a beautiful color. And I was so sad because I love these like nudie pinks because it kind of matches everything. Then the sinful colors. This is in the shade Skylark. Such a beautiful shade too. It peeled on me. 
like it peeled like paint right off my nails so no bueno on that this is the Tarte um, this is the Amazonian clay brow mousse I love this hopefully they've come out with darker shades this is too warm I tried this so many times and I love the consistency I love how it is on my brows if I ever dye my hair like a chocolate brown shade this would be amazing but it's it was disappointing because um, it's a bit too warm for my brows and you could see the warmness and I need something a little bit more ashy so yeah like an ash soft dark color yeah this is from the Kylie collection of the sinful colors the color is a beautiful it is the shade cashmere and this y'all I can't get this shade off this is oh my goodness this like it did not go on smooth on my nail and it very it clumped I was like this ew maybe it's old I don't know I really didn't like it at all that's like one of the worst nail polishes that I've ever tried and it's not I don't think I don't know they try to do something to it and it's supposed to go matte but it was not a good formulation at all for saying full colors this is a color correcting CC cream I don't know what this does I didn't, and I try to read up on it and I feel like it wasn't worth the money so it was disappointing in that sense but it's the peach one and y'all know I love color correcting stuff so I didn't know what the purpose of this was so that's the reason why it's disappointing I can't even tell you about it yeah these NYX high voltage lipsticks these they're so like pigmented I, I hauled these a while ago they're so pigmented but they also are streaky and a bit patchy I don't even know if they have these NYX always comes out with uh, products all the time and I know that they are better at lip products their lip suede and the liquid lipsticks are amazing their butter glosses are amazing these are past for me just because they do not um, they're very pigmented but they don't go on smooth and they're hit and miss because there's a darker shade that I got I think it's in the shade stone that was very good that I like but these are very streaky these are in the shade uh, French Kiss I know one of them is French Kiss yes two of them French Kiss I think yes and the other one is beam so these are hit and miss oh my goodness this one was horrible this is the Revlon color stay over time lip color rouge this was so patchy on my lips it's supposed to be they were trying to do the same thing as the makeup forever makeup forever y'all spend your money on this this was a no bueno no bueno no bueno no bueno as you can tell that was supposed to be a dupe but it was a dud spend your money on the high-end products because it was worth it this was in the shade too it was a beautiful shade it was just patchy it dried out this is called bare maximum and oh my goodness it just streaked all over my face star looks this is like a, a cream eyeshadow in rose gold this was so patchy I wanted to love this so badly but you cannot use like when I say it's patchy like when you swipe on the product it removes it right back off and see it's not opaque and if you try to layer it it messes up and there's no way you better not put anything over it because it starts to crumble and and ball up oh my goodness I wanted to love this so badly but I'm so glad that there's a brand that everybody's been talking about from Sephora that I'm gonna probably try those and the Revlon ones are better and Stila just came out with some with glitter so yeah Starlux passing on that oh oh my goodness these are right here the Stila this is the stay all day concealers I need to come with the best and worst of concealers. I'm gonna hold on to these because these would be in the worst. These crease so badly. They do not apply. I wonder if I could use this. I'm gonna try this even as a contour or bronzing. Maybe that would work. But these are definitely, do not put these under your eyes. Maybe for spot concealing, but 
I usually use concealers like this under my eyes and it says stay all day. Hello. I was like, I need some under my eyes to stay all day. These are worse. These are the worst under your eyes. So I'm gonna hold on to these, but they were disappointing. The Physician's Formula. Again, this is the Super BB All-in-One Beauty Bomb Concealer. This was the worst of concealers. Oh my goodness. This is a watery mess and it, it was so hard to get like like the product would shoot out oh lord have mercy on me and they only have like two shades physician's formula you know america has like how many different shades like please come with some variety i love you in the drugstore i want you to stay but please there are more than two shades of people in the drugstore okay another NYX product I love NYX I love NYX y'all know I love the con the concealer one I love it for carving my brows but this y'all can you tell I tried I tried I tried but the formulation of this is way 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 too waxy for your face and when it doesn't it do, did not mix well with other products and when you have color correcting and you're putting stuff under uh, if you're putting stuff under other products it needs to be able to blend smoothly and this was like too too waxy like when I say wax it felt like beeswax is in here I won't be surprised if beeswax is in here but it's a color correcting palette and this was a no bueno I would I would say this is one of the worst of concealers too oh my goodness so yeah so this is the Garnier Ultra Lift Transforming Skin Corrector the worst the worst moisturizer I've ever put on my face because it like when it rolls up into those balls y'all you know SPF can do that to you sometimes it's the worst and the last thing this shocking extensions telescopic I love the carbon black uh telescopic but this one is the worst to me it dried out my mascara and it flaked it off so badly it was horrible this would be one of the worst mascaras that I ever tried. So. so those are the products that I regret buying. Let me know what you are regretting because we just can't love everything from the drugstores or Sephora or Ulta. You just can't love everything, you know? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what your best and worst product was. Bless you. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please subscribe if you hadn't already and I'll see beautiful you in the next video. Bye, lovies.